by popular demand today we're going to look at what i've called the hoop antenna you can see it there up in the air it's a vertical quarter wave for 10 meters that gets better than 6 db gain on the 10 meter band and we're going to lower it and look at what it took to build this antenna and why you might want to make one also uh, it, it performs extremely well, so let's take a look at it. First off, it is on a fiberglass pole called the spider beam. This is spider beam's 12 meter pole, and I've got it fully extended right now. Uh, it goes up 40 foot. So the top of the antenna is at 40 foot. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna lower this antenna and take a look at what it took to build it and the associated cost. We'll start with the pole, the spider beam pole. Uh, that was my most expensive item, but I bought that just for uh, portable and for experimenting, things like that. And you can look up the 12 meter pole and see what it cost online. So let's lower the antenna and see what it's made out of. So stand by. First, we have the hoop itself. And we'll start with that since that's where I'm uh, getting its name from. The hoop is made from fiberglass rod picked up at Harbor Freight. It's 3 16 fiberglass wire running kit, 33 foot, comes in the tube. There's two pieces left. And that ran about, oh, nine dollars. As you can see, it threads together right there. And I've gone all the way around and made a full circle that's roughly eight foot in diameter. The radials for the antenna are just wrapped around and cable tied. I only put the tape here for a moment just to keep it from sliding left or right. Uh, there are four radials. Each radial is eight foot long, which puts it close to a quarter wave for 10 meters. So let's look a little bit closer at what else we've got here. Stand by. I'm using RG8X coax connected to a connector right here. And the connector, let's see if I can get it to focus. The connector is just a bare connector. The ground side or shield goes to the radials. The center conductor goes up the pole. Let me see if I can lower this a little bit more. Here's a little closer look. I've got it put together with nuts and bolts just to make it easy to uh, put it together and take it apart. But again, that's just RG8X coax running up the pole. The radiating element is about seven foot, eight inches, seven foot, seven inches, something like that, going up to the pole, to the top of the pole. Uh, and let's go back to where it's not raining and we'll talk about the game. Before we go very far, let's look at the SWR for the antenna. I've got it at 28.12 megahertz. And we've got an SWR of 1.042 to 1. Very good. I could try to take and make it a little closer, but... With SWR this good, why mess with it? I don't want to do anything to jeopardize what I've got right now. So we're going to pause and then get back to something else in just a second. So let's review a little bit what the antenna is made of. We have the fiberglass rod used for the hoop. We have 14 gauged 14 gauge copper clad aluminum wire 
picked up off of Amazon. They make up the radials and the radiating element. We have RG8X coax and we have a connector for the coax. That's it. Uh, cost is minimal. I think the coax connector was about three bucks. The wire, uh, just a few dollars. The fiberglass rod, about nine dollars at Harbor Freight. And the rest of it is just time. So if you're curious what the performance is on this antenna, I made a previous video, if you haven't seen it, that talks about getting 6 dB of gain on the 10 meter band. Or what did I say? Let's say it's, uh, 6 dB of gain on the 10 meter band or better. And the video that I previously made shows the radio uh, reception, the waterfall, and the improvements that came from this elevated vertical quarter wave with radials as compared to the ground mounted multi-band antenna that you see right there. So if you haven't seen the video, I would encourage you to go back and watch that video and you can get an idea of what the performance is on the antenna. So I figured since we've gone this far, let's go and look at the radio one more time and we can get an idea of what kind of signal improvement that we get from the antenna. Uh, it seems to be a little bit different today than it was the other day, but either way, we're gonna see a great improvement. So let's watch this one uh, guy right here and see what kind of improvement we get on signal strength. He's getting about a S2 to S3. Let's watch a little bit longer, S2 to S3. So you can see he peaks at about a S3 right there. So let's switch to the elevated vertical and see what it does. So we got at least one S unit right there. At least one. Yeah, so we're getting from a S2 to S3 to a good S4 as we switch to the vertical. S4 going toward the S5. So, so we're getting gain from this antenna by elevating it like we did. So anyway, I just brought you this video today because there had been multiple requests to see more of the antenna, what it was made of, how I made it, and things like that. So if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it if you think it'll help somebody else. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. I'm going to try to do more videos like this. And until the next video, take care out there. Have a good, uh, good DX, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.